Welcome to GW Micro's Guess What series, an introductory look at the highly anticipated release of WindowEyes 7.5 Beta 1. WindowEyes 7.5 Beta 1 offers innovative support for Internet Explorer 9, the next generation of web browsers. Internet Explorer 9 not only offers new streamlined design, but also adds support for HTML5, pinned sites that let you directly pin your favorite websites to your taskbar for easy access, as well as hardware acceleration that makes browsing the web even faster. For more information on all of the new features of Internet Explorer 9, please visit www.microsoft.com. Let's take a look at how Window Eyes works with Internet Explorer 9. It should be noted that this Guess What is using a private build of Internet Explorer 9 so that the results with the current public beta of IE9 will vary from this Guess What. First, I'm going to press Windows key R to open the Run dialog, and then I'm going to type in www.gwmicro.com. Windows key R. Dialog run open no combo edit box. Double, 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 period, G, double, M, I, C, R, O, period, C, O, M. HTTP www.gwmicro.com Six suggestions. You'll hear the autocomplete app there speaking those items. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Desktop. R Windows Internet Explorer. 37 links to on clicks, five headings. Link skip to main content, link window eyes, link. And I press control to silence that so we don't necessarily have to hear the first 24 lines of text on this particular web page. The web page obviously opens in Internet Explorer 9 and browse mode automatically turns on and browsing the web works just as it did before. You can still use Window Eyes to easily navigate a web page by line, character, word, link, heading, as well as other HTML elements with the press of a single key. You should note that IE9 uses a new technology called User Interface Automation, or UIA for short. UIA and its other improvements and implications for software will be discussed in greater detail in tomorrow's Guess What. Everyone's favorite hotkey, Insert Tab, which brings up the page navigation dialog, still works just as it always has. If you press Insert Tab, you'll immediately get a list of links. Let's give it a shot. Links that skip the main content list box 1 of 39 dialog 39 links. Skip the main content list box 1 of 39. The dialog has all of the capabilities that you have come to know and love, such as the ability to list your place markers and controls. Pressing Escape will take you back to the web page. You can also open a new tab by pressing Control T, and then an interesting new feature will display. So let's give it a shot here. We'll press Control T. New tab. Address and search using Bing D about tabs edit box. Now, the assumption of opening a new tab is that you'll actually be typing a new web address. So, we're going to tab until we get to the browser window. Refresh F5 button. New tab. Tab, tab again. Home, home button. Tab again. Link welcome to GW Micro very active. Welcome to GW Micro HTTP www.gwmicro.com. Now, what's really interesting about this is that links to your most popular sites will appear every time you open a new tab. The site that I happen to visit the most often is GW Micro, so it's first in the list. We can move to the next item in this list. Link Internet Explorer 9 Beta Less Active. Internet Explorer 9 Beta Less Active. Internet Explorer 9 Beta HTTP Windows.Microsoft.com and as Internet Explorer Product C9 Welcome Upgrade 2. And in this case, you will hear that my second most visited site is Internet Explorer 9 Beta, and you heard less active because I don't go to that website near as often. Any of these links can be hidden at any time, but a nice feature here is that you can actually press your context menu key. So I'll press your context menu key, or some of you might call it the applications key. Internet Explorer 9 Beta less active. Context menu. And I can down arrow here. Open O. Down arrow again. Open a new tab W. Again. Remove this page P. Keep going. Add site to start menu M. Or right here, you can actually add this site to your start menu. Yet again, Window Eyes is here every step of the way, walking you through some of these new features of Internet Explorer 9. What if you want to search for something in IE9? You could go to your default search engine, but why not just search for it from your address bar? So the first thing I'm going to do is press Escape to get out of this menu. Internet Explorer 9 Beta less active. Menu closed link Internet Explorer 9 Beta less active. Then I'm going to press Alt D to get into the address bar. Address bar. Address and search using Bing D about tabs edit box. And it's going to use your default search provider here. So suppose I wanted to search for window eyes. 
I'm going to go ahead and type in window eyes. W I N D O W. Get the dash. Dash. Capital E. E. Y E S. And I'm just going to press enter. 91 links, one on click, 23 headings. Link. And I pressed control to silence that. Now, it automatically uses your default search provider, which in the case of Internet Explorer 9 is Bing. What I'm going to do next is actually find the list of all results. So I'm going to press H until I hear all results. Heading 1, link, web. Heading 2, related searches. H again. Heading 2, search history. Keep going. Heading 1, all results. Right there, I hear all results. So that means that the next item I hear when I press H again is going to be the first search result. So I'm going to press H. Heading 3, link, GW micro window eyes. So right there is our link. So I'm going to place focus on that link. You can do it with your favorite method, whether you press L again or tab or down arrow. I'm just going to down arrow. Link. GW micro window eyes. There's my first search result. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to press enter. 49 links, two on click, six headings, one flash object. I beam link, skip to main content, link window eyes, link note takers. And I'll press control to silence that. But you can see that it took us to that web page. It was very quick. And Window Eyes was just right there with IE9 all the way. Window Eyes 7.5 Beta 1 is right there with you every single step of the way as you browse the web with Internet Explorer 9. When Internet Explorer 9 does ship to the public, you can rest assured that Window Eyes will be ready, so make sure you are too by upgrading to Window Eyes 7.5. What about using other new software from Microsoft, such as Windows Live Messenger. Windows Live Messenger 2011 was pushed out as a critical update for Windows, and it now uses a newer technology that Windowize 7.5 Beta 1 supports. We noted that many of you are using Windows Live Messenger, and GW Micro wants to make sure that we are keeping up with the latest technology. So Windowize 7.5 Beta 1 adds full support for Windows Live Messenger 2011. To take advantage of Windows Live Messenger 2011, you'll need to download and install it. Then, you'll need to create an account and sign in. These are steps that we will not cover here, but you can easily do them on your own. I'm going to open Windows Live Messenger by first opening up my Start menu with the Windows key. Start menu. Search box, edit box. I beam. Then I'm going to type in Windows Live Messenger. W-I-N-D-O-W-S-L-I-V-E space M-E-S. S-E-N-G-E-R, Windows Live Messenger. And I hear Windows Live Messenger, so I'm going to go ahead and press Enter on it. Available. Windows Live Messenger. Sign in S button. Now you notice that I've got the sign in dialog here. My account credentials are already here, so I'm going to go ahead and press Enter to sign into Windows Live Messenger. Share something new. Windows Live Messenger. Search contacts or the web static text. Now in some cases, Windows Live Messenger, when it opens, will automatically go to the notification area, or formerly known as the system tray on your computer. In that case, you could press Windows key B to access the notification area, down arrow to Windows Live Messenger, and press Enter. Then the main window of Windows Live Messenger 2011 would appear, and you could start moving through the contacts. In my case, Windows Live Messenger has already appeared. I could start searching for a contact, or I can start down arrowing and listen to all my contacts. So I'm going to press down arrow. Favorites. There's favorites. These are categories. Down arrow again. Link keep your favorite friends at the top and see more of their social updates. Apparently I don't have any favorite friends. <laughs> I'm going to down arrow again. Groups. Groups. Down arrow again. Coworkers. So right here it says coworkers. And if I down arrow. Aaron Smith is available message. Yep. I'm here. All right. So this says that Aaron Smith is here. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter on him. Aaron Smith. Aaron GW micro dot com. Aaron Smith input edit box. So I press enter, it brings up a new window. This is where I can actually type something into the edit box here. I'm going to go ahead and type something in here. H E L L O space A A R O N W E L O E G double space M I C R O G E S A T bang. Hello, Aaron. Welcome to the GW micro. Guess what? Let's see if he actually responds. Aaron Smith is writing. This tells me it's writing. Last message received at 2.27 p.m. on 2.3.2011. Hi, Jeremy. Aaron Smith is writing. So he just wrote back, hi, Jeremy. It Last message received else. at 2.27 p.m. on 2.3.2011. What great weather we're having, huh? <laughs> Considering there's been a wonderful blizzard around here with four-foot drifts, that uh, can be rather interesting with the weather around here. 
you'll notice when Aaron writes back, you're going to hear not only that he's typing, but it's going to tell you what he says. At any time, if you wanted to check the history here, you could press F6. History view conversation history read only edit box. That would take you to the top of that read only edit box. The most recent stuff's going to be at the bottom. So if I do a control end and then up arrow. What great weather we are. And I'll back down arrow again. Having a... So that's the last thing that Aaron wrote to me. And then if I wanted to shift back to the edit box where I could type something in, I could do a shift F6. Input edit box. And now I'm back to the edit box. I'm going to type Y E A. H space Y S A V S L V S A S S H I S L double bang yeah you have to love all of this no so it's very easy to be able to communicate here on Messenger even with the technology that's new to Messenger you can hear that Windowize has no problem traversing Windows Live Messenger 2011 another great feature about the new version of Windows Live Messenger is the tabbed messaging feature. Suppose you want to talk to more than one person. In this case, I'm already talking to Aaron. I could actually alt-tab over to my contacts. Windows Live Messenger. Windows Live Messenger. Aaron Smith is available message. Yep, I'm here. And I'm going to start down arrowing here. Let's see who else is available. Akaminsky Hot. Chris Park is a Chris McMillancy. Dan is available. Dave Eagle is a Doug is away. Drew is available. Earl Harrison is Kelly Dunn is off. Kimberly Klein is available message. Happy New Year. Mark Solomon is available. So I'm going to press enter on Mark. Mark Solomon. Conversation. H. I. S. P. M. A. R. C. Bang. S. P. I. S. P. I. E. C. O. R. S. T. Space. G. E. S. D. T. S. P. A. N. Y. A. I. S. Y. S. D. S. T. S. P. A. A. S. O. T. E. Space. D. N. D. E. R. U. S. G. D. S. P. M. I. C. R. S. P. U. S. T. O. N. R. S. P. U. S. T. E. Quest. Hi, Mark. I am recording the guess what? Anything you want to say to the wonderful GW micro customers out there? Now Mark's a busy guy. He may or may not have time to write us back here real quick. We'll, we'll just see what happens here. But it's nice because what's actually happened is as soon as I pressed enter on Mark, it took me into... Mark Solomon oh, is writing. Back. Let's see what he's got to say. He's in this nice window here that uh, has the ability to actually tab back and forth between the conversation I was having with Aaron and the conversation that I'm now having with Mark. Last message received at 2.31 p.m. on 2.3.2011. I would encourage people to try out the window i7.5 beta when it is released. Mark Solomon is writing. So he apparently likes as well. He's also writing some more here. Let's see what else he has to say. Last message received at 2.31 p.m. on 2.3.2011. The new version includes a host of new features that both new and existing customers will really enjoy. <laughs> I think he's pretty supportive. What do you think? It's really nice now that we're inside of this window because I've still got Aaron Smith's window open. It's actually in the same window. It's just tabbed just like you would be inside of a, a web browser. So if I do a control tab, Input edit box. now I'm actually back to the conversation with Aaron. And I could control tab back to the conversation with Mark. If I wanted to close either of those conversations, I could do a control W. So this is a really nice feature that I find very handy so you don't have to alt-tab back and forth between five or six different people that you're trying to talk to. It's just all inside of one window. And once again, Windowize is keeping up with the rapid pace of technology to enable you to be productive and efficient. After all, Messenger is something we use here at GW Micro every day, and it can be used as a professional tool in many environments. Whether you're in a professional environment, an educational environment, or simply using Windowize at home, Windowize is right there with you. Windowize continues to forge ahead through its innovative support of both Internet Explorer 9 and the newer technology found in Windows Live Messenger 2011. We still have a few more items that make Windowize 7.5 Beta 1 an even more well-rounded, well-worth an upgrade, including some additional features and a solid collection of bug fixes. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Guess What? to learn more about Windowize 7.5 Beta 1, as well as an exciting promotion to help you upgrade from 7.2 to 7.5.